Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my September favorites. Wow, um, that's a little scary. I feel like this month just flew by because I did start, start college up again. I mean, it started in August, but like it was only a week in August, so things went a little crazy. I'm sorry that this video is going up late. Um, I just didn't have time to film yesterday, so I'm trying to do it real quick today and then edit it super quick and I'll have it uploaded hopefully by like 7 or 8 o'clock, fingers crossed. Um, but today is my September favorites video, so here's my little basket of favorites. You can see that I kind of have quite the array, but I don't have too many. Um, I don't get the opportunity to try too many new products every single month, but I feel like these are some really, really awesome favorites and some that I feel very, very strongly about. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month, just keep watching. All right, so you guys know I kind of like to go in order um, of the way that I apply these products to my face. So I'm going to start with foundation and I have two to mention this month. The first one is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. Um, I have mine in the shade 102 and I've really been loving this foundation. I feel like for the summertime I wasn't really reaching for it because I didn't want such full coverage but now I just I love how long this wears on my skin and how nice it looks throughout the day because I have much longer days now or much longer like days that I wear makeup now um, because in the summertime I wear it for like four or five hours and then I can take it off and go to bed but today or not today um, but now I have more seven, eight, nine, ten hour days. So um, this has really been a favorite of mine. And then I also love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte for the same reason. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I cannot get over the coverage on this foundation. It just like, I feel like it conceals all my blemishes, but it doesn't look completely unnatural. You know what I mean? It has a really nice matte finish. Um, I do use a hydrating primer under this, but that's just kind of been my jam lately. It does look fine with a normal primer too, or a mattifying primer if you're oily, but I've really, really been loving this one, and I'm almost, I dropped it, and I'm almost out of this, so I need to go pick up a new tube because this one is very old and it's probably gone bad. So I have two cheek products to mention. The first one is the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm, and mine is well loved. As you can see, I had to repress it because it did shatter at one point. But I've really been enjoying just kind of a cooler tone bronzer lately, which is kind of weird because I feel like the weather has still been quite summery up until the past day or two. So I just, I feel like I'm just ready for fall. I just want to dive in and I want to get into those cooler tones a little bit. I still enjoy bronzy skin in the fall, but not quite as like sun-kissed like I've just been to the beach skin. So I really like this bronzer for that. And then I also have a blush that I got in my BoxyCharm that I am obsessed with. I can't put this down. So the blush that I've been loving this month is the one that I got in my boxy charm and it's the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. I have not been able to put this blush down. It's a baked formula and it's this beautiful like berry pink. It's stunning. You can see that it's got that nice little dome bake um, shape and it's kind of a glowy blush which most baked blushes are but it's not like overly glowy it just gives you like the most beautiful just like glow to your skin it's not like a highlighter you put on your face I mean I guess if you packed it on you could build it up to that but um, I just apply it kind of sheerly on my cheeks and it looks so stunning I've always been kind of afraid of um, shimmery blushes because I do have acne scars on my cheeks and sometimes I have actual acne on my cheeks and I always felt like they really emphasize that but this one just looks beautiful on the skin so next I want to talk about eye products that I've been loving I actually have quite a few so I just want to kind of hop right into them the first one I have to talk about is this brush set and this is from shop miss a which if you guys don't know it's like a makeup dollar store website um, it's really cool and I just hauled or I did a haul last week I think maybe the week before um, but this was part of my order and I believe it's the Paw Paw 10 piece charity brush set or something like that. When you buy this brush set, um, a, a percentage of the proceeds goes to an animal charity or something like that. I believe that's my understanding of it. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I grabbed all the brushes because I accidentally mixed them in with my other brushes and I couldn't... Oh, there's one. I found another one. <laughs> but um, I couldn't find them all before filming this video and I don't have a ton of time to film. So I just grabbed the ones that I could find. And kind of ran with it but I have been loving this brush set so much it's only ten dollars and the main reason that I bought it was because the majority of the brushes in here were blending brushes and I feel like that's something that I don't have very many of in my collection I have like one big fluffy brush and then two of the like MAC 217 dupes and I use those constantly so I really wanted some more and I just kind of wanted to experiment with some different shapes and I'm super super happy with this set I love all the different shapes and sizes. I'm going to go in a little bit um, more in depth when I do my Shop Miss A haul update or haul, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet, but 
I will go in a little bit more in depth with each brush and my favorites and yeah but they are very very soft um, I washed them and they came clean really easily I really didn't notice much shedding at all like way less shedding than my Morphe Copper Dream set that thing shed so terribly when I first washed those brushes it was so so bad but these have been fantastic so far and I think they were like a third of the price so these are awesome I also want to talk about this pigment is it a pigment or a glitter it's a pigment um from Sydney Grace Co and it is called pistol so I'm gonna hold this up to the camera I really hope you guys are gonna be able to see the shift in this it is oh, it's crazy beautiful I got this pigment about a month ago and I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys oh gosh I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it um it scared me a little bit. It didn't scare me. I was just having a really hard time figuring- oh, it's all over my hand now. Figuring out what to pair it with on the eyes because it has so many different tones to it. It has pinky tones, it has blue tones, it has like a very warm brown shift to it in some lights. You guys can see it's all over my hands. Isn't that stunning? Um, but it's just a very unique pigment, but the- um, over this month, I have been pairing it with purples and blues, and it is just, oh, it's so, so pretty. I love it so much. I'm, like, obsessed with it. Um, it layers up really beautifully on the eyes. It's a little bit messy to work with, but all pigments are, but it is just so, so stunning. And then, I have two eyeshadow palettes to talk about, no surprise there. And this first one, you guys aren't going to be shocked by this one, because I cannot stop raving about this palette, and it is the... Emily edit the wants palette from makeup revolution or revolution beauty whatever their name is now um and I have just been obsessed with this palette you guys I have not been able to put it down I wear eyeshadow or play with eyeshadow probably five to six days a week oops I didn't mean to blind you with the mirror um but like I said I wear eyeshadow or I play with eyeshadow probably five to six days a week and I've been reaching for this in some capacity every single day it's just such a well-rounded palette and it has so many beautiful shades in it. I just think Emily did an amazing, amazing job with it. Um, if you guys want to see an in-depth review, I would be happy to do that. I just haven't filmed one yet because a lot of them are already out there on the internet, so I didn't know if you guys would want to see one, but if you do, let me know. I definitely will film one. And the other eyeshadow fa palette favorite that I have is the ColourPop and Give It To Me Straight palette. This palette is like perfect for this time of year. I feel like it's the perfect transitionary palette between summer and fall. I mean, I will wear this all year round and into the fall, but I feel like it's just perfect for summer into fall because it still has those really um, pretty oranges and copper shades, but then it also ties in those deeper berries and those purples and um, those more chocolatey shades, but it's just been so, so good. I have loved every single look that I created with this. I actually wore it on my eyes today. Um, it might have worn off a little bit because I've had this makeup on for four to five hours, I think. And I was doing homework and I'm sure I rubbed my eyes when I wasn't paying attention. But I really, really love this palette. This one is one of the palettes that is available in Ulta stores, not online. Well, I mean, it's available online too. But if you live near an Ulta that carries ColourPop, I would highly, highly recommend this one. So I have two lip product favorites and they're both minis, which I didn't realize until I picked them up. But the first one is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Fig. It's this gorgeous berry shade. This is what I've been popping on when I want a berry, like, every single time. Every single time. I've worn it in a lot of videos lately because sometimes when I go to class, I just do pretty minimal makeup. Um, just because I am terrible at getting up in the morning and I don't really have a lot of time. But then when I want to come back and film, um, sometimes I add a little bronzer in my crease, pop that on my lips, and I am good to go and I feel a little bit more glam. And then the other one is the Jouer um, Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Tawny Rose. This shade specifically, I've been wearing the Jouer Liquid Lipstick all month long, but this is just the most beautiful, like, everyday pink. Isn't that stunning? And these are really, really comfortable on the lips. They smell so amazing. And that's going to lead in to my miscellaneous favorites and the first one is the makeup eraser i didn't keep the box because i bought this a little while ago um but i feel like i've just gotten into using it a lot this month actually i meant to use it or to mention it last month in my favorites but i just i forgot so i'm mentioning it this month but this is like a i don't know if it's like a microfiber cloth but you just get it wet and it removes your makeup i use this a lot for swatches or if i 
um, and like doing an eye look and I brush things off on my hand. I do that a lot too. I don't really use this as my primary makeup remover. Like sometimes I will wipe off like my eye makeup with this and then go in with like my face wash and really cleanse it. But I have been loving this so much. I got mine for like seven bucks at TJ Maxx. Definitely go check those out because they are so amazing. And then I finally have one more random little favorite throw in for you guys. Um, it's actually a YouTuber. I discovered Make Me Up Nisa. I think that's her name. Um, this month and I have just been loving her videos so so much she's really really talented she does a ton of tutorials and like first impressions and she just creates the most beautiful eye looks and use tech uses techniques that I don't necessarily think to use or I don't regularly use on myself and it really kind of makes me think of how I do my eyeshadow a little bit differently so I really love her videos definitely go check her channel out I'll have it linked down below but other than that I think that's gonna round up my monthly favorites thank you guys so so much for watching Make sure you leave your monthly favorites down below in the comments. I would love to know. I want to know what you guys are like reaching for as we move into fall. I'm so excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.